Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Headliners has come and I'm gonna do a little promo market review. We're gonna talk about what happened yesterday on Promo Friday, January 1st. Happy New Year once again to you guys. We're gonna talk about these foot headliners, talk about how they do get upgraded. It's basically the exact same as last year, so that is kind of, I guess, comforting in the fact that we know how it goes and there weren't any big surprises with, with this promo today, but I want to talk about the content, the new season objectives, the new icon swaps, which people are not very happy with because it's a lot harder to get them done fast because we have had a way of doing it this past set of icon swaps with some golden goal stuff. And, you know, now we have like a max number of games you can play instead of the one nation uh, friendly mode. So not very many people are happy about that. I don't want to spend too much time on that because I like to stay pretty positive. And there are a lot of positive things that happened today on foot, starting with the SBCs. And I'm going to start there. I'm going to talk with the players and packs, the SBC card, um, Robin, the objective, and then move on to the icon swaps. And then we'll talk about the market and what I think is coming today on Saturday, because we didn't get a headliners player as an SBC. And I think we're due one of those today. So let's take a start with the players that are in packs. And of course, the official webpage that EA dropped with the headliners promo. This is basically telling us the exact same information as it was last year. So just a quick reminder, at the launch of the event, the Foot 21 headliner players, they get a boost higher than their first, their last inform or performance-based item. So that's why I like Bruno Fernandez is a 91 because he gets a performance boost over his 90 rated team, the group stage card. Um, and base time, basically every time they get an inform or a performance-based inform, that headliner will always stay one upgrade above it. But if their team wins four league games back to back. So four wins in a row in their domestic league season. So from here on out to the end of the year, if Manchester United, which they won today, so they're on a one streak, right? Man U with their win today, they're on a one game winning streak. And that means that if they win three more games in the Premier League in a row, that Bruno is going to become a 92. And then, of course, if he gets another upgrade, like if he gets another inform, he'll go, of course, up plus one every inform that he gets below the headliner. So that's kind of how these cards do get upgraded. And again, EA confirmed it's a two-week promo. So team of the year at the very earliest now is not going to start until Monday, the 11th of January. It's going to be the 11th of January. Actually, I'm sorry, not the 11th of January. It's going to be the 18th. Either the 18th of January, if Team of the Year is going to start on a Monday, or the 15th, if it's going to start on a Friday, is when Team of the Year will be. So we're at least, uh, again, another two weeks out from Team of the Year, which kind of stinks, man, because we were, of course, hoping for Team of the Year to be soon. But we have headliners here. We have it now. I'm curious as to why EA did it this way this year, but hopefully they give us some information on that because we are getting two teams of headliners. And again, it says, watch out for headliners that will be released through SBCs and objectives. Now, of course, today we only got an objective card for a headliner, and that was Mateus Cunha. Now, right on stream today, live at 6 p.m. UK, uh, we were on stream. I bought a Douglas Costa, which was a nice green link investment to this Mateus Cunha card. I feel like a decent amount of people are going to do this because objective cards have been the name of the game this year. People are used to completing objectives. They're doing icon swaps right now. So, of course, they might not be able to do... I mean, I don't think any of the icon swap objectives are in the headliners challenge, um, you know, friendly game mode, but I feel like this is a pretty easy card to do. And it's a solid card, right? A Brazilian center attacking mid in the Bundesliga, solid card. If he gets the first inform that he gets, by the way, will take him a plus two. He'll go from an 84 to an 86. So this headliners card will be a pretty, get pretty juiced up if they do, in fact, or if he does get an inform or even if Ber um, Hertha can get four games in a row one. And I'm not entirely sure. I don't watch the Bundesliga enough to know if this guy will get upgraded. But regardless, it's a pretty nice first owner card to have in the club. Uh, and I think a lot of people will do this one, especially because it is Brazilian. Now let's take a look at the SBC content right away because this was like the biggest W of the day. Honestly, we'll take a look at this big W and that was an SBC that I've actually already completed. So we'll go down into the squad section to take a look at this card. Don't mind me doing my icon swaps or I was doing my icon swaps for La Liga, but this guy right here, Robin, Robin flashback SBC released today. Now, of course, EA messed this one up a little bit because they did different stats on the in-game card based off of what they tweeted out. But at 120, 130K, this SBC is probably 
one of the best value SBCs for the player and for the emotional attachment that you get in this game. Ben Arfa and Robin now, two back-to-back -back flashback SBCs that are like FIFA favorites, right? And this Robin made the market move a lot today. A lot of right mids were not were panic sold and they didn't rise too much post 6 p.m. UK because a lot of people went out and did this SBC right here. Now it's tough to link him. So you had guys like Quincy Promes, even like Baby Hullet went up 100,000 coins at one point today because of this SBC coming out. I did this because I had, I packed a duplicate untradeable uh, Handanovich today and I literally just put in fodder from the rest of my club and it was a D, it was a GG. So I've got this Robin in my team. I'm not sure how I'm gonna fit him in but he's in the club. So that was a big W. A, a lot of people did Robin today. So that's one thing to keep in mind for um, Dutch players down the, the line. Now, if I was an objective grinder, what I would do is, is I would go get these Eredivisie squad foundation guys. Van Bergen, of course, is a right mid, but what's going to help link that main man Robin is going to be Gravenberch. It's going to be fantastic. And then, of course, maybe this bum Gartnell guy, if you want to put him at center back and you can link Dumfries to him. Only problem is Dumfries is basically extinct on the market right now because he is one of the only ways. Promez as well was a card that went flying today because of that SBC. I think Promez was like 170,000 coins as the road to the final item. And I think right now he's up at like 240,000 coins. Big time rise today. People linking this very usable five-star skill uh, Promez to the new Robin card. So that was a big time market movement that we saw today. Now let's talk about more market movements with these headliners because as we talked about yesterday, I think that a lot of people opened up their saved up packs on foot yesterday so there was a lot of supply but it didn't all come in the first hour these guys kept getting supplied and supplied and supplied and actually if we take a look at it i don't know if there's any packs out in the store right now um but i believe that the pack the yeah the pack odds for these guys if we look at a hundred thousand coin pack 4.1 percent from a 100k pack is I think pretty much ballpark average. I've seen like road to the finals have less. Um, from, so maybe from a 125K pack, it's like 5%, which is not super duper high, but it's more like in the middle for what we see for new promo cards. Uh, from what I have seen uh, in the past, in the recent uh, times that we've had new promos come out. Uh, the only problem with these cards is right now is they don't have dynamic images. And EA tweeted out today, they tweeted out the picture of the squad with these guys containing dynamic images. Yet, inside of FIFA, they don't have the dynamic images. I know it's a small thing, but it's big. Because look at this Bamba dynamic image, right? With his jersey on, with the dynamic image, it just looks so much better than his his like normal player face mugshot <laughs> image that's on the card right now. You have Zaha behind my camera, and I'll, I'll turn off my camera for a second. Look at that Zaha dynamic image of him flexing, dude. That's sick. I want to see that in FIFA, man. EA Sports, do it, please. And the same thing is happening with the past team of the week. Like, the past Team of the Week 14 does not have dynamic images yet. Mkhitaryan's dynamic image looks really cool. Bruno's is dope. Joao Felix is awesome. So I want to see these dynamic images loaded in. And I don't know if that really, like, makes the value of these cards jump. Um, but I would expect to see those images probably updated today or tomorrow. Because maybe it's just something that, like, EA... It's the new year. They're on vacation. I don't know what the deal is. And also EA, we need to add the card type into the game as well, because right now you can only search by special and that's making it hard for people to find these cards. But uh, a lot of these guys have been bouncing around in price. And let's take a look at some graphs right now, because the first guy that I traded today, we were watching him on stream a lot. It was this Bamba card. So Bamba was like dropping down. He was three. It says he had 377 on the PlayStation, then rebounded to 400. Um, what I saw here, I bought a Bamba at 380, no, 378. So I bought him about right here, and I sold him at 415, 413, I think. So there was there was this, a small window today on some of these cards where you could have flipped them. He's not really dropping back down a lot right now, maybe a bit, um, but he was a small mover. There were other big time movers. This been uh, the Bruno Fernandez card was 1.8 mil and is now extinct at 2 mil. Uh, ben Yedder, I think, was in like the 930, 940k range, and he has bo bo boomed, if I could speak correctly, he has boomed up to 990. So Joao Felix was like also 620k and has boomed up to 707. I said it on stream, I knew it was going to happen. These guys were going to bounce at some point, um, but 
yeah, he was 617k, man, and now he's up 100,000 coins, basically 715. So a crazy rise on Felix. Zaha was 445. He's now 465. And those are kind of your biggest movers. The biggest three names in this promo are Ben Yedder, Bruno, and Felix, with Bamba and Zaha being uh, pretty important in there too. But uh, these guys are probably going to fluctuate even more into this morning on Saturday. I'm not really sure if I'm going to be buying into them. The only one I would get interested in is, is still it's Bamba, man, because I'm going to be watching this guy's supply. Um, you know, if I'm, I'm searching at 420K, which is kind of where I need the card to go to as an overnight flip. I mean, how much supply do we have here? We've got about one page. That's about one and a half pages. Maybe, you know, we, we maybe have like 20 cards or so of Bamba under the 420K range, which isn't that much. And if he does get the dynamic image upgrade, if I saw this again back at like 375, I would get interested because then I would really just need it to go to 400K to make myself some profit. So if I see this drop another 10, 15K, I'm gonna get interested in it because this is a really good card, right? This is a really, really good card. And there's two items that came out today, Bamba and Joao Felix that make things interesting based off of previous items that they've had, right? So we had the 86 player of the month Bamba card that has that had plus three passing, plus one shot, minus one pace, and minus one dribbling compared to this new live item. This live item is 380K. The player of the month Bamba, it was 500,000 coins at the current SBC prices. And then Joao Felix is the other way. His SBC, it's really looking like this player of the month Joao Felix was a banging deal because you could have done this right away for 360K. Now it's 470, but still this new live item, which is one rating less, is 700,000 coins. So if you did player of the month, Joao Felix, at least for right now in this stage of the game, you're feeling really good about it because that the value of the card you got for this price was fantastic. So GG's to, to you guys if you did that. But I think you are going to see some of these headliners rise up a little bit more into the daytime on Saturday. You'll probably see again, like in the morning time, a bit of a rise because people will be buying these to play weekend league to try them out. Of course, guys like Zaha, Bamba, maybe even Fabinho. If they gave Fabinho 70 pace, he would look so much better. E8, please just do it, right? But they didn't. Um, some people are going to just buy these guys to try them out during weekend league for a little bit today. You probably will then see a bit of panic selling headed right until the content drop because oftentimes what you see is people will panic sell those cards, the new promo cards, because they know there's more lightning rounds that are going to come out today on Saturday. So they panic sell those cards and, uh, you know, they think they're going to get supplied during lightning rounds, but they panic sell guys like Bruno Fernandez, Ben Yedder, and Felix, who are very high level cards who don't have that much of a pack weight. And a lot of people just open lightning rounds on uh, Friday and not as much on Saturday. So what you often see with those is the really high tier ones uh, bounce back for like an hour or two after the content drop. Um, if there's nothing big that comes out because, um, People still want to go and try out those cards and they really are not getting supplied that much and people want to keep playing weekend league. So definitely keep an eye on that today for those headliner cards. I do think you will see some movements there. Now, transfer list wise, what did I do yesterday? I made only a couple moves. I got this Bamba again for 378, sold it at 412. I bought this at 115. I bought this at 322 or something like that on stream. And then I bought this for 1.22 on stream as well. I knew this dog leash would rebound. Of course, one of the most popular icons in the game. Uh, there was a lot of stuff that rebounded and there's a lot of stuff on the market right now that is still pretty high. I was watching a lot of icons, a lot of special cards today. This Road to the Final Pogba was like 530,000 coins. Yeah, right here. I'm gonna check his price right now. Uh, Europa League Live Pogba was 530K. He's now 575, 580. A lot of stuff was kind of panic sold again this morning. If we look through some of the past team of the weeks, Harry Kane is 1.22. He was 1.14 this morning. Laporte was 540. Now he's back to 510. These cards are going to continue to fluctuate. Kamara is taking a hit in price because of this Amavi card. Another French left back in League One. This card's only 26K and it's a live item, which is making Kamara go down. Uh, I'm definitely interested in Douglas Costa for a, like, a rise next week after weekend league because again if people are going to finish their weekend league they're going to go complete mateo Sacuna and probably go link this costa card to him so if you have any out of pack special cards that you're flipping that you're trading with 
Um, a lot of those cards seem to be inflated at the moment. This Kimmich card, bang, 287. He's really expensive right now. Holland was 160s earlier today. Sterling was down in the 170s. De Bruyne was 380. Diego Carlos was 200K and under. So a lot of these special cards are on the high. I think you want to cash them out, of course, because it's a, another promo. We still, um, we still have a lot of people in this game that are rocking cheaper squads because they know Team of the Year is still on the horizon and there's still a lot of stuff to do in the game in terms of objectives and icon swaps. So people don't like to hold on to expensive tradable cards during the week when they are going and completing those icon swaps. So just kind of something to keep in mind there. This card was 660K this, uh, earlier today. He's now back to 700. He's basically 800K at the moment for those out of packs, baby icons. We were really watching those today and a lot of those uh, rebounded really, really well. And they were ba they were very, very profitable. Desai, what about him? So he's not up that much, um, but you kind of make mental notes of this stuff, right? You kind of make mental notes and say, yo, what stuff went up a bunch? what stuff went up a little bit and you remember that for weeks to come because you know that a lot of the stuff people use week in and week out in their foot squads. So let's talk about the new icon swaps just a little bit. I'm not going to spend too much time on this again because a lot of people are not happy with it, but EA definitely, we knew this was coming, right? We knew it was coming. They, they took a lot of your easy swaps away. Um, it's harder. You, of course, you can still do um, the the golden goal stuff with a few of these swaps, but they made it a little bit harder because you have to do more of them through squad battles, which means you can't do as much. Um, last time there were only, there were three tokens available through squad battles. And this time there are one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six tokens through squad battles. So they're making you spend more time to do it instead of just doing golden goal stuff. And then with the one nation ones to get these two swaps, um, you have only 60 attempts. So you have to win seven matches and win seven matches. So you have to basically win um, 14 matches with seven with English players and seven with Brazilians and you get 60 attempts. So some people are not very happy about that. And the other thing was they made a weekend league requirement, winning 18 weekend league matches. There are a lot of people in this game that don't play weekend league they're just not at a place in FIFA where they can compete in the weekend league, and that's not a problem. But when you when you make this a requirement for icon swaps, there are so many people in this game. I think the stat is like on PlayStation, there's a trophy or something that you can tell when you get in qualify for the weekend league, you get this PlayStation trophy, and it's only like 20% of people that have logged into FIFA 21 in Ultimate Team have qualified for weekend league. That means only 20% or less people in this game can get this objective done. So that screws so many people that don't play Weekend League or maybe more casual players. Like they're not going to be able to get all the icon swap tokens. So that's one thing I was not very fond of today uh, from EA because if somebody wanted to use all 18 tokens and they're only a squad battles player and they're new to the game, they're learning how to play FIFA, they literally can't. They literally cannot get that token um, because they can't play Weekend League or they... Uh, are, are not competitive enough. Winning 18 games of Weekend League, man. Some people do that in one weekend. Some people, it'll take a month. So I think you do have 41 days to do these swaps. So technically, you could grind it over time, but it's not easy. It, it takes a lot of effort to get that stuff in. Now, again, we talked about the market a little bit, but today I'm expecting another Headliners SBC, um, not just an objective. I would expect another SBC um, of sorts for an, a Headliners player. SBC fodder at the moment isn't like crazy. It's not crazy low, except for 83s. 83s went down a lot today. 83, 85s, 86s are still decently high. 84s are lower, but they're not low yet. And then, of course, the higher rated fodder is still kind of up there as well. So if you do want to buy anything to maybe prepare for an SBC today, you could you could look at a couple of these 83s that are uh, normal, you know, good links, good nations for rises for a link investment uh, or for a fodder investment. Uh, but 83s are kind of the only fodder that's like good to look at right now, in my opinion. The rest of the market's seeming decently high. I'm kind of scared for Mbappe and Neymar because both of those guys' gold cards are in packs and they're going to get sold off from this weekend league and drop even lower. Uh, I know Neymar was like 690 earlier this week and Mbappe was down at like 910, but I expect both of these players to drop down even lower because um, people don't like, again, holding those tradable cards in their team for long. Um, let's see what other cards did really well out of packs today or just gold cards that did well. Pogba is down. Um, Aubameyang, I think, is up a little bit. Ramos is about the same, I think. 
So looking at some gold cards, Salah is down. I'm kind of scared, man. I said this yesterday too about the, the pack supply when there's saved packs that are opened. People had saved packs for team of the year and they're not going to be able to hold those forever. And when those get opened, like the supply is crazy from those. So that's why I think we are seeing a decent amount of supply on these uh, new headliner cards. And also why you saw some of those gold cards on the market that are in packs, but still high rated, not really do too well today um, as a, you know, a rise after all the packs were open because they just got supplied and supplied so much today. So again, headliners promo, the SBC today for Robin was a huge W. The market was very profitable if you got in at the right spots with some icons out of pack specials. But again, it's another week in league sell-off that we're going to be seeing. I don't think I expect like big time content um, today on Saturday, just another headliners SBC, maybe a pack supply SBC. And it's probably going to be a good time to trade with icons again on the weekend. It felt it felt good because it, the icon market today felt like it was revived a little bit. Now, whole, actually, whole, it's up like one point. 150k he's 1.15 so that is definitely uh inflated from where he was before but the icon market i'll show you guys here on the index was down to uh, 76 points today and now it has rebounded back to 78 79 so a lot of stuff it feels good right Canavaro, one of the biggest risers on the day as an out of packs baby icon that's one thing to take notice on the baby icons fluctuate a lot um since they're now out of packs but it's 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 good to me to see especially the icon market that has been so dead for the past few days really do well today that was nice i knew i wanted to get in on that um on that dog leash that i saw on uh, lightning rounds i got that fresh one and made a nice little bit of profit there so if you guys enjoyed this video today or if you're enjoying this headliners promo just tell me what you think man i'm curious to see what you guys are thinking about this i feel like these cards are semi-affordable bamba and zaha especially for what their prices are right now i feel like they're kind of cheap honestly uh, and I feel like people might want to try these out. So I think these cards are going to continue to fluctuate and they're live items. So that gets people's attention. Although Bruno is way overpriced. Don't understand that one. That one's ridiculous. Anyway, in my opinion, but if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan for the Catch you guys later. Peace out.